Hello, everybody. Hey. Welcome once again to Tuesday night. We're going to be playing some Shadowrun, going through some Shadowrun missions. Happy Monday. Happy, happy Monday or Tuesday or uh, Friday or whatever day it is in the life and times of the United States in 2021. I am your game master tonight, as always, Danny. Um, and we are going to be... Uh, we're at the tail end of of all the shenaniganry for zero five zero four. Um, the team was bamboozled, if you will, by the foul one, who happily paid them more than they would have got paid. Eh, right. So, um. Yeah, uh, with that, we are going to get into some of this, uh, you know, what they want to do, how they want to go about getting better at the various things that they do. And with that, we're going to get it going. Is there anyone in particular that has a strong idea of what they want to do so we can, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll just kind of start there. Satchel has a has an appointment with Dr. Tate that he, he would like to uh, keep. All right, so Satchel's got an appointment with Dr. Tate. Um, I mean, you're probably as uh, as it's in half burned, so I guess you can do like two things at the same time: get fixed and get upgraded. We all got melted by a spell, so that's true. So um, this is actually going to be over a period of time right so presuming that nobody is is murdering you um <clears throat> you're you're able to make it kind of out of that uh the calumet area you already talked to lothan you, you already know he's he's mad for what that's worth um and uh yeah, it's, uh, I mean, as long as you're not trying to go somewhere and fight more people, uh, we can presume that you all head perhaps to either the, the Triangle or to the Maker Collective or anywhere safe and and get uh, both patched up medically through first aid and then magically healed. And then if anyone's still really hurt, um, you can always just hang out with Gertrude at her place for um, actual bona fide medical care um, and quickly heal. By the time our next mission is coming up, about a month or so will have passed. So there's definitely time for you to heal up and knock out some, some of the things you want to do. Such as go to see Dr. Tate. Eric Kirsch. Trying to remember. I'm trying to remember Dr. Eric Kirsch's name. All right. So with that, um, we'll start with you, Satchel. Uh, hey, hey, Gertrude. Do um, you mind giving me a ride over to Dr. Tate's office? Yeah, sure. Um, are you going to need me to pick you up when you're done? If you, if you wouldn't mind. I just yeah. don't know how long it's going to take. That's fine. You can always just give me a call when you need me to come get you. That's fine. Why, thank you much. All right. So with that, um, Gertrude picks you up. And the main clinic for kind of upgrading or, or adding cyberware is going to be at the vault, which is, uh, of course, where there's the fighting pit, the market, and then the clinic itself. Uh, most of the other clinics that are actually within the con actual containment zone, such as the one that uh, is actually running now over at the uh, Brilliant Genesis Studios that you guys kind of went to and found the stuff from. Like, there's a clinic running there, but they don't do... It's, it's just for, you know, people to come in who are sick or injured. It's not a uh, cyber clinic. But for you, the vault cyber, he's all set up. <clears throat> cool beans. Uh, yeah, what? Hey, oh, am I there yet? 
Uh, if you have nothing to say to Gertrude when she picks you up, and nothing oh. to say on the ride there. Oh, she picked me up? Oh, well, hello. Why, thank you. Yeah, sure. So what's your Uh, You know, not a whole lot. Keeping the, the kids in the neighborhood uh, patched up. Doing some repairs on, on Darcy. Getting her back in uh, ship shape, I think is the term. If only Kaida had his book printed it before he disappeared. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. So, uh, a lot of skin knees or whatnot? Is that what you're, you're dealing with with the kids? Uh, yes. I say kids. Uh, not all of them are little little. Some of them are medium littles. And some of them are big littles, which are adults. So, yeah, some skin knees, you know, the occasional graze from a bullet, you know, whatever, whatever's running around the neighborhood. Oh, so a Tuesday. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. What have you been up to? Oh, you know, uh, watch a samurai flicks. Oh, dude, they're so great. And uh, yeah, uh, I, have a, I have a meeting with uh, Dr. Tate coming up. And I'm still just kind of nervous about going under the knife again. It's been a while. But, uh, yeah, I think it's time for to get a little to you know to get tougher skin. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah, sure. Oh, what was the last samurai flick you watched? Samurai. It's, <laughs> oh, it's called Samurai. Okay. <laughs> no, the last samurai is the last samurai oh. flick I watched. Yeah. It, like so apparently some dude named Tom Cruise was a thing back in the day. And uh, yeah, it seemed uh, seemed pretty legit. Cool. Everybody in these old flat trids, you know, there's <laughs> new stuff. There have been there have been movies made since 2021. <laughs> I think Black Widow still hasn't been released yet, but um, yeah, checks out. So, yeah. All right. I think we're here. Thanks. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So with that, you arrive and pull into the the parking lot there and and let Satchel out. Um, It's uh, it's not super busy at the vault uh, this particular day. So with that... You're going to head into the clinic there, Satchel? Or anything you want to do before you go in? Uh, Satchel just kind of like nervously and her, like hurriedly like goes into the uh, just her, she wants to get this over with as quickly as possible. So he's just kind of like trying to keep to himself, but like get to where he's going. Okay. So Stepping into the clinic itself, um, like I said, there's, it's not a super busy day. You can see some of the uh, Desolation Angels over kind of making sure that nobody's causing any trouble in the parking lot. Um, there's a couple out in front of the market. You realize that there's not really one in front of the clinic. You're not sure if, that's, uh, if that means anything or not, but, um, you know, what? not really... Not really a big big deal right now as you step in. Uh, the clerk at the desk looks up um, and he says, uh, uh, yeah, hi, um, can, can I help you today, sir? Uh, yes, um, uh, I'm looking, I have an appointment with Dr. Tate at 1230. <laughs> appointment with Dr. Tate. Uh, yeah, let me see. You're um, Mr. Satchel? Is that, is that yes. right? Uh, yeah, you, you got it right. Oh, um, okay. Uh, it's a, it's a family name. Don't you don't have to worry about it. Sure. Uh, I'm sorry. I I don't mean to to um. Of course, it's your business. Uh, he types in, uh, taps on to the the augmented reality keyboard that's in front of him. 
Uh, yes, so um, if you could have a seat in uh, the Tapsamore um, examination room two, that's just down the hall there, uh, second door on the left. It'll it'll say EX two over it. Okay, so EX two, got it. Uh, with that, Satchel, thanks. Uh, yeah, thank you, thank you, clerk. Uh, what was your name? Uh, Matt. Math Matthew. Yeah, Matt. Uh, thank you. Uh, that's a very strong name you got. And, uh, he just turns around and <laughs> walks away. It is a strong name because Matt Rath fights in the other thing. See, so, but um, all right. So you step into the examination room. Um, it's your standard examination room. It's got the you know it's got the pseudo bed thing that kicks out where it raises your legs. So you can lay on it with the uh, with sort of like a parchment paper rolled over the top of it. There's a chair next to it, so you don't have to sit on that if you don't want to. Of course, various instruments around the room. No computers that you can see. You imagine that probably whoever comes in has got whatever data pad or, or something with them. Uh, and you just kind of take a seat. It's a little cold. It's a little clinical. Um, how does uh, how does Satchel feel about sitting under the um, fluorescent lights waiting for a medical examination? He uh, is very nervous, like, but he's kind of he, he's kind of like excited a little bit because this is the first uh, this is the first like procedure that he's gotten that you know he chose. You know what I'm saying? So he's like, uh, he's kind of looking forward to it, but he's also secretly kind of dreading it. But just like, fuck it, let's do this. Right. Okay. Yeah. So a few moments pass and the door opens. A nurse walks in. She looks over. Uh, yes. Hello, Satchel. Is it uh, no last name to speak of? Yeah, no. Okay. No um, she's kind of like Prince, just... or no, uh, you... <laughs> Prince, Prince, who it's just or the artist formerly known as Prince. Sorry, okay, um, never mind. I, I, I don't know him, uh, but in, in any case, uh, if you could uh, sit there on the um on the bed and just uh remove your shirt please and uh satchel sits on the bed and does so just removes his shirt all right so with that she kind of goes through the various motions uh stethoscope listen to your breathing listen to your heart uh blood pressure temperature all the all the sort of standard things and then she brings out a device you recognize it. You've seen it before. You've seen like at security stations and stuff, people have this. They scan people with it. Um, you've never really been interested in being scanned by it uh, when it's the cops. But I don't know, the nurse, maybe it's okay um, <laughs> as she aims it at you and then presses the button. Um, and she kind of frowns and um you've had quite a bit of work done previously mr satchel um what what sort of things are you looking for today i'm just uh trying to get some ortho skin oh okay all right, well, like we'll how, have to... How long, does, how long does it take to recover? The recovery process is generally not too long. Um, you'll probably overnight here. Uh, but unless there's a complication, which there shouldn't be, not for uh, something as simple as ortho skin. Um, unless there's a complication, you should be free to go tomorrow. It right as rain. Oh, that, that sounds great. Uh... And with that, he kind of, uh, he kind of like starts to relax a little bit. Now, it's mixing, she makes it seem like it's not that big a deal. So he's kind of 
Yeah, the 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 ortho skin. It's. I mean, it would suck if you if you know you you weren't under, but it's not in, as invasive as some of the other surgeries, and it doesn't. Um. It doesn't require. Man machine interface, so the body tends to accept it uh, a little bit easier. Have you had much Bioware installed? Uh, it looks like um, maybe a little bit. So, I mean, you know, it'll it'll be something similar, maybe to to that in terms of the the body acceptance. Um, I don't know if you've noticed when when you received uh, it says here uh, internal air tank um, like that probably felt a little odd for a while uh, but but some of the other things that you you received that might have been more bioware probably you felt a little bit more at ease a little bit quicker uh if you recall when when those procedures were done yeah i mean now that you think about it i, I barely i barely actually now i remember it a lot never mind <laughs> He says that he's <laughs> Shut up, lady. I don't want to remember that. Um, yeah, so she kind of nods. Um, all right, well, I think I have everything here. I'm going to show this to Dr. Tate, and then he'll come in with you and discuss exactly to, to what extent you would like um, to have your skin replaced with, with the ortho skin. And with that, she steps out of the room, and then, leaving uh, you under the lights. Satchel takes out his, his comm link, and he kind of sends a text message to Gertrude and, uh, and Etienne uh, and, uh, and Nico, and just kind of like, yeah, I'm going to be here for the night if you guys need me. Uh, have fun! All right. <laughs> All right, bunch channels, buddy. Good luck. Thank you. Gertrude sends the trolls up, the trolls thumbs up emoji. <laughs> and then says, call me if you need a ride. I will call you, maybe. No, definitely. I will definitely call you. <laughs> About. 10 minutes maybe pass before Dr. Tate steps in. Um, Dr. Tate, of course. Let's bump him out here real quick. Maybe. There we go. Yeah, so Dr. Martin Tate steps in and looking down at the chart and looks up at you. Um, yeah, hello, Mr. S uh, Satchel. Looking at your chart, it seems that we'll probably be able to go ahead and install the ortho skin that you're looking for. Um, now, at this clinic, we do offer both alpha and beta level replacements. Um, that is going to cost a bit more, but it will be easier on the system. Uh, okay, uh, well then let's go with the, the alpha. Or the, uh, well. yeah, the alpha, right? Or, the, or, or should I go with the beta? I'm not sure, can you help me? Well, I can um, attempt to explain what the difference is. So, Beta is going to cost half again the standard fee, uh, and the alpha level is going to cost uh, maybe about twenty percent additional over the the standard charge. Um, the benefit is is that it's easier on the system, and if you have more alpha wear and especially more beta wear, uh, we you tend to be able to, shall we say, do more. Seeing that you're actually pretty packed uh, i would recommend uh, from here forward nothing less than alpha and probably 
start thinking about replacing some of your um some of your older wear um with with alpha or or beta if if you would um so in terms of uh game mechanics alpha wear is only 80 percent of the essence loss so if something were to cost one essence it would only cost 0.8 essence beta wear is 0.7 um there is delta wear that he has not offered uh, which is half of the essence cost um the cost multiplier is 1.2 1.5 for beta wear and then 2.5 for delta wear which so, is yeah. not on offer here because i don't want that shit anyway you, you do you do want that shit okay no. uh, but maybe not for ortho skin um all right so with that uh he he points out so uh we have in in standard alpha and beta we have four packages uh package four packages available so the first is um and he just nervously says the most not all of it <laughs> like the, <laughs> the, like number four all right number three whatever one it gives me the most ortho skin and then he just kind of <laughs> It's kind of like since there is now getting more nervous. Um, very very well. The the full package is uh, twenty four thousand million standard. That is thirty six thousand if we are going to beta, and. Around thirty thousand, give or take, if we are going alpha. Well, then let us go alpha. Yeah, very well. He takes a few notations down, uh, and then finally jots some things, and then hands the pad over to you, and he says, uh, "If you could sign here, please." He kind of like draws a bag. And he passes it back. Interesting. Well, very good then. Um, the nurse will be in here momentarily. She'll take you down to the operating room and we'll prep you for the surgery. No, I, uh, thank you. I will see you on the other side. And with that, he steps out. And then I'm just like, I just spent all my money on, on, on skin. Is that a good idea? Please tell me it's a good idea, guys. <laughs> like the group chat. <laughs> I mean, it better be good skin, but... I, I said all of it. I wanted all the skin. It's not like somebody else's skin, right? I have no idea. I just signed with something, and I'm just like... <laughs> skin is in, bro. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but... Uh... <laughs> You don't know what skin is in means? Uh, none of all that conversation I understand, <laughs> says Etienne in text. I can tell you what skin is in mean, but is this is this a an X-rated group chat? I guess it <laughs> I don't think I want to know right now, so let's let's say no. Uh, okay. we'll cool. we'll talk about it later. So, certainly I cared less about what skin is in mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's 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 Etienne's way of seeing things. Like, nope, don't wanna know. Uh, okay. All right, uh, yeah. All right. So what so what's everybody else doing? This he's just trying to like o like occupy the time before he gets you know knocked out. Uh, currently on the matrix, uh, trying things, exploring, and uh, I think I found a new game that uh, is going to sharpen my reflexes. It, it, well, my mind reflexes, not the ones that are already have like boosted by mechanics. Is it on the app store? Uh, no, I, I I can can do I cannot do that. I don't don't do astral thing. It's just my 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 wits. That's what I mean. Emoji no, I mean, like, no, I mean your your game. Is it on the app 
store app S-T-O-R-E. oh oh probably but that's not where i got it all right i'll leave you to it it's not really an app store per se i mean the matrix is the matrix so um so, so what satchel knows about the matrix <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. if there were, Itzian would probably try to pirate the game more than pay <laughs> for it. Gotcha. Right. Okay. Um, interesting. One moment. Huh. It wasn't me. Uh, maybe not. Those we'll see. Okay. Um. Yes. So a few moments later, the the nurse comes in, um, has you lay back. Um, she's got one of those those um. What do you call that thing? They hang the you know the medical bags and stuff off of um, some suspension rig. Gertrude, what's that called? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Roll medicine. <Thing>. Find out. <laughs> the fluid hanger stand. Ivy stand. Pinkie Pie oh, Stormtrooper says Ivy stand. I believe her. Ivy stand. Yeah, Ivy stand would make sense. Okay. Hey, that's a nerps for you, Pinkie Pie. All right. Um, so yeah, she she brings everything in, uh, starts to hook you up to the intravenous. At this time, I would like you to roll a composure test. Composure test. Okay. Any modifiers? The best thing to happen right now would be a glitch or critical glitch. That would be amazing. So you want believe? Believe what? What is this? <laughs> Five. You get six dice. Five. Nice. Six two six five five five. You are so like worried about freaking out that you just <laughs> hold it all in, um, and uh, and she sticks you with the with the large IV needle, uh, pulls the needle part out, leaves the stent in, and then uh, hooks you up, has you lay down. Uh, had you laid down before she's got your blood pressure going uh she's measuring a drip and then you wake up you're in a room you hooked like up looking at his hands some some diodes and stuff are hooked up to you um looking at your hands you don't really make a memory test but i mean i don't like, as long as the lines look sort of similar, I probably would not know that it was the same lines. And submit. I'm going to try it one more time. Memory submit. 1001, 1002. How long does it take to get there? There it is. Yeah, so, um, no, you just, like, those look like your hands. Same as they've always been. Um, kind of, like, pinches them. He's kind of, like... Pinching them now, you, you, you can feel there's a slightly different feel to it. Um, a little bit harder, maybe, and um, just a little bit of sort of a, like a rubber or a latex feel um just a little bit mostly just because you're looking for it but it's um 
mostly okay. A few moments later, the door opens and Dr. Tate steps in. Ah, you're awake. How do you feel? Uh, remarkably normal. Thank you, Doc. That's good. Yeah. So, it's full coverage. Um, Is there like a warranty or something? If <laughs> the skin itself should fail through no fault of should it fall off <laughs> certainly uh, it is it is warranted um however that is to say that if you get into an unfortunate situation and the skin is destroyed um that is not on the skin it will protect you but it is not steel it's still skin so be mindful of that uh, you can still suffer from punctures and uh, contusions and other injuries. So, well, you should have told me that before Pedro opens my. <laughs> yeah. Um, Thank you. But with that said, um, he takes a, he pulls out like just a, a regular hypodermic. He says, This, you'll need to tell any doctor that you have ortho skin because. And then he like jabs your skin with it and the beetle just bends. Oh, nice. Do you think Neil the Orc Barbarian has, uh, has ortho skin? You've seen that, right? You've seen that movie, right? I have seen Neil the Orc Barbarian. Um, it is, I'm told, a classic of the genre. I'm certain he has some sort of skin replacement, whether that be dermal plating or ortho skin. Um, well, we're going to keep you in observation for another half hour. And after that, you are free to step out. <clears throat> Why, thank you. And uh, with that, he... He takes uh, takes out his comms and he sends a text to Gertrude. Oh no, he, he calls Gertrude because she told him to call her. And she told him to call her when uh, when he's about ready. Ring, 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 ring. Yeah, Gertrude pricks up uh, fairly quickly, and uh, you hear a, like a, a hissing noise in the background. <laughs> oh, uh back like <laughs> yeah no i was just working on darcy what's up are oh. you ready to be picked up oh yes yes uh hi, yeah um i'm ready to be picked up please okay so i can leave in about half an hour all right then i will meet you out in front of the clinic does that work or do you need help getting out of the clinic uh, he kind of like moves his legs and see that they still work it's like oh no i think i'll be fine Okay. See you soon. All right. Well, thanks. Bye. <laughs> All right. So uh, with that, you are now at 0 0.45 essence, um, which is... Not a lot low. of essence. <laughs> you know, uh, you'll probably need to replace things with alpha or beta wear in order to get any more anything going on for that. But... Um, and you have plus four to your armor rating, which is really nice. Oh, and yeah, there you go. So of course, Gertrude picks you up, uh, takes you back. Everything is just fine. Hunky dory. Um, Gertrude. How have things been going with Darcy? I know that there's been some damage. And yeah. that you also may want to start looking into other improvements. Yeah, so uh, definitely working as much as I can on Darcy to get the, the bumps and scrapes out. 
cleaning the interior probably a few times. And uh, it still smelled like cockatrice for at least a week after. And uh, it just it's a, gets... It's a, a peculiar smell, you know? It's, it's like... And it's just in the leather. It's just or... everywhere. Yeah. Uh, and restocking the, the Valkyrie module. Um, and then I would be looking for someone to help me uh, to uh, install some armor so that she can take a little bit more damage and a couple of other, uh, like a, a morphing license plate and that sort of thing. Okay. Um, so let's start with um, just over time, uh, some of the repairs that you can kind of do at home, if you will. So we've got um, an automotive shop, so you're good there. Um, working conditions are good. You have, uh, we'll say that, plus one, uh, plus one, that, and your logic, four, two, and I give Etienne a call, see if he wants to come over and work on the car as well. If, if he's doing his own stuff, no problem. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of busy right now. I'm trying to learn a few things and tricks uh, while we're off the job, uh, you know. Uh, so I, I wish I could, but I don't know that I'm going to have the time right now. I, I got a meeting with someone soon, and I, I still haven't passed that level of... Uh, my mind training game. Right on. Next time. Yeah, uh, certain, uh, certain. Okie doke. So with that, um, what you can do is you can do an automotive mechanic uh, extended test, which is going to be automotive mechanic and logic. So it's already set up for that. So this is extended. So every time you roll, it's a it it. It's a, about an eight-hour period of work, um, but we say that's a, it's about a day of work, and you can go until you basically run out of dice. Okay. Uh, you do get you do start with plus two total. Uh, in the modifiers, do I put just two or do I put plus two? You should just be able to put two. Okay. That's pretty good. Um, oh, it's still counting for wounds. I should probably take that oh, out. Oh, yeah, you should probably take your wounds out. Um, and just click where it says physical damage track, and that'll bring it to zero. Cool. Thank you. That took me a minute, because I was like, how do I turn the last one off? <laughs> um, so that was two dice that you lost for that. So go ahead and add three to the next roll. Just we'll call it even that way. All right. Okay. Uh, plus the next roll should be straight. Uh, just the. All right. So that is five damage mended so far on the vehicle. Uh, and you still have minus one, minus two, all the way down to minus six. Okay. Well, minus six is zero dice. I don't know that I'd roll that. So you said the next one is minus one or minus, minus one? Minus one. Okay. Okay. Minus two. Minus three. Now, minus four. Do you want to roll at minus five? I think I think I'm good. <laughs> I, I think uh, no way to stop right here. Okay, so that's seven of the ten. Uh, so that means you'll have to find somebody with a little more knowledge to do the the other three. Um, it's it's. 
parts of it that you either don't have the right tools or the right knowledge to to fix that part. So uh, let's go ahead and take Darcy down from 10 to just three. Um, but she does look a lot better. Um, buffed out some of the weird sort of paint things that were that were there. Um, and it took about a week to do to to do all that. Um, all told. What are you wanting to do about armor? Are you wanting to head down to the maker uh, collective or are you going to take it somewhere else? I'll probably go to the maker collective just because they seem like trustworthy folk. Okay. Instead of trying to find someone in the yellow pages. Right. Um, awesome. Yeah. So you head down there. Um, it's, you know, mostly the usual folk all around. Um, and I imagine you're either going to hardwire or to uh, crater. Yeah, I'll probably start with hardwire since crater seems to always be working on a project and I hate to bother him when he's working on his stuff. Okay. Yeah. So, um, Hardwires, he's there in his in his shop as always, you know, uh, hawking his various electronic hardware trinkets. Um, looks up. Oh, hi. Um, it's Gertrude, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, did you need to see um, Crater, or are you looking for something else today? Uh, so I'm looking for uh, some armor for my van. You know how it is running around the the zone. It can get a little. Um. Yeah. Rough. Are you looking for? Are you just looking for just extra heavy plating, or are you looking for something that um, uh, is con concealed, or ideally um, something more concealed? Uh, just ooh. you know, since yeah. I I work with the kids in the neighborhood, I don't want to freak them out by driving a tank around. You know. Right. Um, so, I, I mean, we'd totally be able to help you with just, you know, throwing some big plates on. But for something that's a little more specialized, let me think here. Um, I know a guy. Um, yeah, I can I can connect you to him. Uh, maybe you'll be able to. Uh, he he's got a shop down by the uh, down by the docks. And I'm um, pretty sure he's got the connections and the skills to get something like that taken care of for you. Okay. Is it someone, I mean, it's someone that you're recommending. So I assume that somebody that you at least have some modicum of trust for. Yeah. Uh, he's worked with Crater on a few projects. Um, he's um, got a pretty decent reputation uh, for this sort of thing. I'm, I'm surprised. Um, Maybe you don't know him, but you haven't actually been in Chicago that long, huh? No, I just got here a little while ago up from uh, from the cast. So all of my contacts oh, yeah, yeah, are yeah. very far away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I'll give him a call. Um, he turns, he taps in some stuff on his comm link. Uh, he's talking quietly and he nods. Uh, and then he turns and he kind of flips you a incoming message. It's the it's the guy's number. It says Goober, and then it has a number. Uh, yeah, so give him a call. Uh, set up, I guess, a time to come in and, and drop the, the van off, um, and he'll probably be able to take care of you. I'd be surprised if he can't. Okay, I appreciate it. Yeah, 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 for, for sure. Um, and if you need anything else, you know, we've got what we've got. Yeah, I was actually, do you have any of those off-road tires? Um, you know who would know that is, um, what's his name back in the back? Um, Morton, he'd know. Okay. Yeah. Cause that's not like, it's not something I'd have. It's not something we'd have to build, right? It's just, you just need some. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Okay. Yeah, yeah. Morton, Morton will know. He's he's in charge of all the just the extra miscellaneous stuff. Um, so, 
Yeah, y'all don't do as much mudding around here as where I'm from, so. I suppose we don't. <laughs> you get on your big tires and you drive through a field full of mud. Okay, why, why, would, why would you do? Because you drive really fast and it's real fun to, uh, to scare some of the wildlife before they go back to, to grazing. It's a thing that teenagers do. Uh, sounds like a blast. <laughs> um, I, I'll leave you to it. Uh, yeah. So, Morton in the back, as you approach, he's, uh, looks like he's counting uh, over the books, whatever, you know, the books are for Morton back there. Um, He does not notice you walk up. Uh, I stand there for uh, a couple of seconds, and when it's very apparent that he's very absorbed in what he's doing, that I will uh, like knock on a on a door frame or a, a wall or something like that. Oh, um, yes. Hello. Hi. Um, what can I do for you? Hey. Um. So, hardwire sent me over uh he said that you might have a lead on some off-road tires for my gmc endurance off-road tires um let's see uh he gets back to the stack he was looking at and he kind of flips through it flips through a few more um let's tires 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 we've got some tires um Tires. All right, I'm gonna have to roll some dice. Huh. We've got off-road. No, doesn't look like we've got off-road. I've got some. Uh, I think those are racing tires, which are kind of the opposite of what you want, if I'm correct. And then we've got these uh, these run flats, but we do not have anything for just off-road specifically. Um, not a lot of off-roading in Chicago proper, I think, back when it was running, and that's mostly where we get all of our inventory. Um, that makes sense. Um, I might be interested in those run flats, though. That might be a good compromise. Um, certainly, yeah. We've got uh, a bunch. We might even be able to find matching brands. Uh, let me go... Take a look. What's what's the size of your vehicle? That's a GMC Endurance. Okay, okay. He's a fan. All right. So he heads in the back. Uh, tools around. Five minutes later, he kind of comes out. Uh, yeah, I've got um, I got four run flats for you. They um, it's gonna be eight hundred million for the lot. And um, assuming you're not running dualies in the back. Uh, no, not right now. Anyway. Okay, yeah, so that's, um, so that's, uh, it's 800 for the lot. Uh, they're not brand new. Brand new would be a little bit more, but um, they're, they're in good condition. Uh, you know, if you have a problem with them at all, we're here. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, yeah, that sounds good. I'll uh, right. send the cash over. So with that, you have the run flat tires and... A phone number. Com code. Awesome. Let's move to for just a little bit here. Duryea. Yes. Nico has 
7,000 Nuyen. That is a lot of money. That's right. More money than Nico has ever had at one time in his life. Now, you're a college student living on ramen noodles every day because that's all Nico you can afford. College. <laughs> and uh, no, 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 no. I'm just trying to, you know, find an find an anal analogy here. Uh, right. And you're not actually living in your own apartment. You're like bunked up with a friend on his couch. That is basically Nico's living situation. Suddenly you get $7,000 and the promise that more is probably on the way now that you've discovered this insane way of making money through OnlyFans. Um, why, why the analogy? Like I know what game we're playing. <laughs> You know, for everybody, you, you, you had okay. nothing. You got money. All right, I'll follow. So, what do you do? Well, he wants to move into Kaida's place because if if someone doesn't, then they're gonna trash all the stuff and put it on the street. <laughs> okay. Now that he has money to pay the rent, and there's all the magical stuff in there that he recognizes from training. All right, all right. That's doable. Take a look here. Okay. So that's just uh, it's 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 a low. It's not a uh, you know, it's up from squatter, which is good, and um. You know, it's it's better, and like you said, he's got he's got all that stuff there. So you're gonna probably need to talk to somebody over in the triangle to to make that happen. Okay. And you know that Etienne lives in the triangle. Okay. But he's not who I need to talk to. Right. No, but I don't think you know who necessarily to talk to. Oh, okay. Okay. Because you're not like Nico's not in with the uh, the angels. But the angels are the people who he wants to be in with, right? He would want to be in with them. I mean Th that's the gang he was trying to get in with. No, that's the um It's not the Desolation the, Angels. The it's, Desolation uh, Angels are, are an actual real gang. gang. The, yeah, this is the gang that I was trying to get in with was the uh Dangerous the girls, crew. The, the ladies, right? No. No, Dangerous Crew. The Dangerous Crew, they're the ones at the collective. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> so, all right. So, I guess I'll go see Etienne. Hey. So, so do you call him? Do you show up at his garage? Show up at his garage. All right. Uh, it, it takes a few minutes of you, like, knocking at the door for him to show up, and his hair all messy, and his clothes are too and he's like uh hey hey man how are you, how are you doing something going on yeah um i want to i want to i want to get i want to rent out kaida's apartment before you know they throw his stuff out on the street but i don't know who to talk to uh i mean yeah i don't exactly know what kind of arrangement he had made with with the people around here as far as like if he's this if he's still paying it now that he's gone or if they but we can yeah, that can be possible if a, if he's not using it or paying rent right now they would probably let you move in awesome it's um yeah give me a minute to get straightened up i've been in the matrix for uh he looks in the air he's like oh long time all right, I'll I'll be right back. And he comes out with his like usual get up uh, a few minutes later. And yeah, uh, I Thomas doesn't know who to talk to, but I guess Etienne would. Uh, yeah, it's a, the angels pretty much run this block, this whole area. So it would probably be someone in the angels, or they would know exactly who to talk to. 
All right. Well, he's gonna he's gonna find one of the members of the angel that he knows is is not like just the just newbie bottom of the gang grunt to uh, to talk to, and we'll go from there. Uh, yeah. So. Heading over towards the towards, so they have their their sort of uh, their clubhouse, which is next to the 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 shelter. Yeah. Because um, getting too close to the shelter always sort of raises eyebrows, uh, and you try to avoid that. But yeah. next door, where the clubhouse is, uh, you, you know, you're around there all the time. Um, mm-hmm. Today we've got. Uh, looks like Cynthia is there. And uh, she's hanging out with both um, Kaizi and this other elf that you kind of remember, but don't really, like, haven't seen her as often uh, around. Um, Kaizi, of course, hang out with on the regular. Um, and then Cynthia's kind of mean. Yeah, still gonna be polite. He's gonna knock on the door frame. He's like, "Hey, angels, uh, how is it going?" Uh, hi, Charlie. Oh, that's not right. Uh, hi, Etienne. Hey, uh, I, I uh, got a few questions regarding lodging for my uh, my buddy here. Um, you know, who I can talk to you too about that. Uh, Wondering what's going on with um, Kaida's old apartment. If he still hangs around there or not. Um, Kaizi turns to the others and, and just kind of says, I'll, I'll take care of this. Um, and so the two of them, uh, Nixie and, and Cynthia, the elf and Cynthia, just kind of stand over the side and resume their talk. Uh, every once in a while, Cynthia throwing, throwing, um, throwing shade glances over your way. Um, it's just gonna do the awkward like, and go back to this discussion like, hey, I don't know, I can yeah. see the shade, but I can I'm not gonna address it because I'm too awkward for that. Yeah, Nixie smiles though. Uh, seems genuine. Uh, or she's really practiced at it. So <laughs> yeah, um, Kaizi, come come on in over here. Um, and she kind of hops around this desk. Uh, let's see. There's um, ah, oh, here it is. Uh, she pulls out a little data chip, slots it. Uh, Kaida. All right. So Kaida was staying in uh, one of the houses uh, back behind. Um, and it looks like it's been a little over a month since he paid up. So he's behind. Um, we okay. haven't we haven't done anything yet we haven't taken anything out of there uh and and we wouldn't for uh, at least another month or so okay well we don't really know what he's up to appears he uh he ran off on his own uh doing his thing but uh my friend here who was under his tutelage is that the right i'm his apprentice yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, I am I'm kind I'm 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 his apprentice. Okay, so our Okay. So he he'd want to uh he would want to like well resign in the I want apartment. to um I want to uh gain residence in his in, in my place of study. Yeah, acquire his his living quarters. That's a weird way to s- phrase it, but yeah, yeah, that's this is just how adults talk. I know I've been watching. <laughs> oh, he turns and look at him. He's like, uh, okay. <laughs> so this is Kaida's apprentice. She asks Etienne. Yeah, yeah, and since <laughs> Kaida basically just, just went out and. Went to do his own thing with he's being hanging around with uh Gertrude Satchel and I. It, it wasn't really I wasn't hanging around, I was employed as a gang liaison. 
Yeah. Uh, anyway, we, we did work together, and he's good for the money. He needs a place to stay, and since he knows Kaida, uh, I figured might as well, you know, at least he can hold the fort. He, as I said, he's good for the money, so he can hold down the fort. Won't have to send me there to turn off the water pipes and power and shit. Okay, uh, well, if you're vouching, then I don't see a problem with it. Um, and he turns to, to uh, what's his name again? I keep forgetting. Nico. Nico, and he's like, I'm, I'm vouching, and he, he takes a serious face. He's like, I'm vouching for you. Don't maybe regret that. <laughs> I see, I've been working on my eyebrow. <laughs> that's good, but that's not an answer. <laughs> so we good. Kaida internally is very upset by the questioning in public, but Nico? he says he says I'm sorry, yes, Nico. But but he's been practicing his adulting, so um, he just he just says understood. Okay, and there's like a very very low inaudible. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he's aware that he's probably that happy about that, but it's something he had to do. So he turns back to. Uh, Kaizen, he's like, yeah, I'm I was fan. We're good. Okay. Um, so if you've got uh just bring by uh 2K uh and I will give you the key. Well, let's just handle that now then. Oh, all right. Well, um I'll get the key. She turns, goes, grabs the key, returns with the key. Um, it is um, I think it is a number. So if you go out to the right and then make a right down this uh, side street, uh, you'll 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 then have to kind of like do that little half diagonal thing. Uh, it's one one seven seven. It is uh, like the third or fourth house on the right. Um, yeah, I, I can bring him there. I've I've been there. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I studied there. Oh, oh, of course. Yeah, sure. Great. Um, so here's the key. Uh, you slot the cred, and now you have access to Kaida's DOS. It's been a pleasure doing business with you, other adult. I look forward to doing this in the future. And then I shake, hand out, I reach out my hand. She nods and shakes your hand. It's and then I look quiet at you and say, um, now we shall depart. No, no, we shall have a great day. Um, and uh, see you later, Etienne. Nice, see you later. And then, once we're a little bit away, I'm like, dude, that was so good at adulting, wasn't I? You were impressed, <laughs> you yeah, were yeah. impressed. You were speaking of adulting, I'm gonna go with you in that house, and we're gonna go over the main things where the fuse box is, where the main water line is, awesome. and all these important things to know when you uh, move into a new place. Awesome. All right. Yeah. So we're going to go, what's, in, in the days before this call and the days after, what has Etienne been up to? Uh, there's quite a list of things that Etienne wants to do. Um, Etienne has been spending a lot of time in the Matrix trying to sharpen his mind, and by which I mean he's trying to, I'm trying to bump up his intuition from three to four, and uh, maybe some perception skills that I've been lacking so very much. Okay. Um, I would say that that enough time has passed that that both of those are expenditures you can make with um with karma. Okay, okay. I will uh, I will get to that. And the other things he wants to do were um uh, he wanted to talk to Becky ninety nine. I didn't mess up that name again. No, you didn't. It's because she mentioned knowing uh, Neo Anarchists in the surroundings, so you wanted to make contact with them. And also spend some money on uh, drones. 
more precisely, uh, evil proletarian to him and help him do his stuff. Okay. And learn how to drive it. So that's other karma expenditure. So we can we'll do we'll do the Becky thing later. Um, okay. What exactly are you looking for in terms of drones? Uh, the Evo Proletarian. It's a little rolling drone that has an arm and is uh, basically good at uh, engineering and stuff. So just want him to uh, him to have a little engineer buddy. Little engineer friend. Yeah. Got it. Uh, Let me take a look here. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Oops. It's a small drone that can be found in Rigor 5, page 132. Yep, I see it. There is a chance you could find it in the Maker Collective. Uh, otherwise, you're probably going to need to find somebody who deals in drones. Uh, let's see here. And you have some connections that could probably lead you in the right direction, at least. So there's that. If if you don't, if you can't find it at the Maker Collective, well, I'll start with the Maker Collective then, since uh, I already know people there. And if that doesn't work, maybe they can point me in the right direction. Or if not, I can talk to my people. Okay. Um. So off to the Maker Collective. Probably, um, probably Hardwire is the one you want to talk to for this. So, um, yeah, there you are. Okay, I guess I, I got to ride with one of those going there for other business. Yeah, getting around is not too too difficult. Yeah, you, know, you figure out a way. Uh, don't want to bother Gertrude. She's busy fixing Darcy. So. It's uh, one thing when we're on mission, it's another thing when you, I'm just calling her randomly to, to yeah, cut hey, you around. Yeah, you're right. I'm like, she's like, come on, man, I'm in the middle of something. Oh, I'm okay. in the middle of surgery. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I guess I'll wait then. Uh, no, but... <laughs> yeah, if somebody's open on your operating table, I'll wait. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, he walks in and he's like, hey. Uh, hardwire. Uh, hey, what's going on, man? Um, how's that agent working out for you? Uh, good, good. Doing a real, uh, real good job. Just patching wow. uh, everywhere. I am not good enough to do what I need to do. Cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah, what, what are you looking for today? You usually, you're not usually here to browse. You usually know exactly what you want. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I've been, um, been working a little bit here and there um back uh with the angel and stuff and uh i would i could use speaking of the agent i could use a friend for something else you know these little evo drone with the arm uh they have like tools on them and they can do things for you um proletar, uh, proletarian um yeah i I think I know what you're talking about. Um, let's see. It's a uh, oh, little guy. Um, yeah, it's fairly little. Wheeled or tracked, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, let's see here. Um, I think... That's not looking good. Ah, crap. Uh, we had not that model, not the evil one. Um, we had one that was uh, um, an SK, but uh, I think I sold that last week. No, all right. Yeah. Uh, well, I know, like, I came here because. 
we, uh, we do good business usually. Hey, but... You know who would have one? Yeah. Um, no. Your 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 friend um, uh, Gertrude was here, and she was looking for some some more high end work on on your the van, and uh, I told her to go see um, this guy Goober. Uh, He's a mechanic down over by the docks and, uh, and he, you know, he deals in this kind of like, it's, it's his thing. Like he likes tooling around with drones. He likes, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of his okay. deal, I guess. Uh, so, um, I can get you in contact with him. Uh, you can actually even ask him if he has one now before we even yeah. bother with it, I guess um uh, that that could be nice uh did you um you send gertrude to him do you when was that i mean you think she's there if if i could go with her like it could be like easier and we can maybe uh get a good price if we buy in bulk you know but, but may, maybe maybe yeah um just uh well she was here i think yesterday 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 I'm pretty sure it was yesterday so uh you could i, I guess check with her and see if She's around or not? Yeah, um, okay. Well, I'll, I'll give yeah. her a call. In the meantime, if you would, you know, that, but if you can ping him and ask him if he has that, that'd be. Uh... Yeah, yeah, I definitely can. Uh, let me uh, get right back to you. Um, and with that, he shoots out a message. At that point, we just both stare in space because we're both communicating through the matrix. Right. So it's the end. He's gonna send a message to Gertrude. He's like, "Hey, Gertrude, I met Hardwire, and he told me that you uh, you were uh, he put you in contract contact with a drone guy. You think you could? Uh, have you been there already? Because I would have gear that I want to buy from him. Uh, no, I haven't had a chance to go down there yet. Um, it's he's down by the docks, so I'd love to have a friend. All right, yeah." Be happy to uh, to 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 go there with you. All right. I am at the Makers Collective. Uh, I, I can move somewhere else if you uh, if you want to pick me up somewhere closer to your route. It's. I think I have. Do I have to go past the Makers Collective to get to the docks anyway? Um, it's not out of the way. Okay. Like you, you wouldn't have to, but it's yeah, it's not out of the way. Yeah, I can just uh, grab you if you want to go. If you want to go down there today, I can just pick you up on the way. That, 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 that'd be great. Uh, ping me when you're here, and I'll be at the front door. Sounds good. All right. Uh, before leaving Hardwire, well, he turns back to him. He's like, well, uh, apparently we're going to go there right now. Did you hear back from him yet? Yeah, he says he's got um, the Evo. He's got uh, he's got the SK model and um, um, it, and the, he said if of course if you're looking for other things, he's got that too. So um, yeah, he's got what you're looking for. Um, the, cool, the cool. Uh, before I go, do you think uh, you have? Would you have um, a trid, a small trid projector that you uh, have laying around that I could get from you? A trid projector projector for blah 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 yeah yeah i'm pretty sure i got one of those let me uh let me just double check um i think i got plenty of those actually um i could i take two okay uh so we got um what do you need it for i, I mean just like because we got the cheap one but you don't want to knock that around at all um and then we've got you know your standard I mean... and then I would probably, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm probably going to end up like putting it on the drone or something like that. So, you know. Yeah, you probably want to go with something a little heavier duty then. So we've got this one, uh, this uh, Horizon deal with, um, uh, well, it's it's got the reinforced casing. So it's 250 per. All right. Give me two of those. All right. Uh, sure thing. And so he stacks up two boxes of Trid Projector. All right, thank you. All right, awesome. So being even five, there you go. Thank you. And have a great day. We'll um, see you the next time you come around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably sooner than later. 
All right. Uh, Chris, is there anything else that Satchel was wanting to do? I mean, you don't have a whole lot of money left, but um, muted. You want to get new vocal cords? That's quite expensive, though. So, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> Satchel is 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 chilling at home, uh, watching movies and practicing what he sees on uh, in in all these old kung fu and and, and samurai flicks. Okay, sounds good. And newer um, ones, since apparently movies are a thing now. Yeah, they're they uh, now. Yeah, <laughs> they've been a thing for a minute. Um, before we get to uh, head over to Goober's um, for Nico, uh, did you want to talk to Lothan? Dre? Sure. All right. So basically, you know, when you had talked to Dr. Kirsch, he had mentioned that there was uh, there there was somebody that did some sort of um training for various mages and stuff uh and just kind of asking around a little bit you heard that the person to talk to is lothan uh and it's um to get into this sort of a magical group uh if you will a uh, magical study group known as the ash union Okay. Uh, heading over to, you know, um, you spend a day making your way over that direction. And what about walking? I don't know. You got to you got to ride. I can't levitate, so I guess not. So heading over there. Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know, for you, it's walking is a thing that you've done a lot. <laughs> I can, yes, so, I can. In fact, I can. In fact, walk. You're correct. Uh, though, like with your baller money, you could probably buy a Vespa. What's a, a Vespa? Like a scooter? Yeah, like yeah. a scooter. I'm a gang liaison. I would never. <laughs> I would never. No. 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 You could soup it up. Mm -mm. That would be. That would be. That would be. No matter what gang I'm trying to get into, into that would be career death. Suicide. Remind me at the end of the session, I will tell you about the most badass Vespa ever. All right, so um, yeah, so you make your way that that direction. It takes you a few hours, but you get there uh, into Miller's Pub and um, head on down the steps. Okay. Um, as you walk in, is that you for real? Huh? What do you mean? Not here, and just your. Spirit form. That was a pretty good trick, though. Not a lot of folks um, do that. Well, I was trained by the best, sir. Uh, I've never trained you. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. What do you want? <laughs> well, I came here because, you know, I met these, these really awesome dudes, and they told me about this thing. And I would have gone to them because they're just so awesome. But they said that they couldn't do it because um, we are not the same. I forget the word they used. So I guess I come to ask you, because besides Kaida, you're the only other magic person that I really know. So I want to initiate. Oh, I see. So. You talked to some high up fluting wizard folk and they told you about the greater powers and now you want those for yourself. Do you think you can handle it? That kind of power? Do I think that I can handle that kind of power? Well, I guess the other option w would be to just The answer is yes. You say yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> Yes I, yes, I can. Yeah, when people ask questions, usually they want answers. Yes. <laughs> okay. Not a lot of mages in the zone, as you yourself have surmised. Surmised? The 
those of us who are here, we have kind of banded together a bit um, to assist each other. Now, I am also a hermetic, which is what I probably is the disparity there. So um, I would not tutor you directly, which is fine because I don't want to. Um, you would drive me absolutely up the wall. So uh, we will be able to find someone to work with you, to show you the deeper secrets, to help you initiate, as you will. That's a big word, by the way. Surprised you know it. Um, I'm surprised you think you could drive yourself up a wall. I guess you've been working out. That's not any kind of an insult or comeback at all. That um, It's absolutely an insult. No, it, uh, it was not. Uh, it was an insult. Only fit people can drive themselves up walls. <laughs> do you have to practice to be this dense? Like, is that something you do in your off time? It's just like you just sit there and you think, what can I say that won't make any sense? And then I'll just say it and look at everybody like it makes sense kind of like you just threw the word surmise in an unnecessary sentence <laughs> it's 500 million a month <laughs> there you go back on track well um how many months is this gonna take well um you're gonna be part of the group so being part of the group is 500 a month. Um, the first initiation takes, um, normally on average takes about a month of um, prep and then the, the uh, journey to the meta planes uh, return processing. So probably about two, three months for you, I think. Yeah, that sounds about right. That's one. All right. This is a one-time payment or a monthly payment? Because sometimes monthly. when you pay things in, in, a, in a bulk, they give you like a little discount. Like if you're getting a Netflix it's a club and you buy it. These are the dues. Oh, okay. Because there's, there's okay. all kinds of things that go into this. We're going to be making sure that you have all of the materials, all right. the foci. All the but you know, if you pay for like the whole year, they deduce a little bit so that it's more affordable. You, you guys don't do that here? I'll give you a yearly package at, um, let's see, 13 grand. How's that sound? Do you guys do like layaway plans? Sure. You can pay it in installments of 4000 and then pay the last uh, 1000 at the end of the year. How's that sound? 13 grand. Wait, but that's not at all 13 grand. That's five grand. What? <laughs> you said pay 4000 and then pay the last 1000 at the end of the year. That's 5000 Four thousand. I'll take it. Installments, installments. Okay, thirteen grand. Got it. No, 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 no. I'll take the four thousand now and the one thousand later in the year. No, I said four thousand installments every three months. Four thousand. All right. I'll make you. I'll cut your deal. Seven thousand total. Four thousand. Three thousand. How's that sound? Or you could just pay five hundred a month. Well, how about I'll, I'll also? All right. I'll start it for wait five thousand times. <laughs> Here's the five. I didn't go to school. I grew up on the streets. Round it to the nearest tenth. Okay. 500 a month will do. I guess. Do, do, do. Because I just realized that 7,000 is more than 500. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, People on the streets, man. Where are you staying these days? Why well, are you going to ask me out? Where are you staying these days? <laughs> In an apartment. 
me in an apartment in the the zone. Zone. I actually don't know the answer, Danny. <laughs> Uh, you just tell him the triangle. You, you okay, the triangle. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, like, that was me not knowing what to say. <laughs> What's the name of the place again? That wasn't at all. That wasn't Nico. That was Dirty A being like, I don't know where I am. Thank you. Um, okay, so yeah. Um, all right. Well, someone will be there shortly. At my house. Oh goodness, I have to clean up and then put on some tea. All right, I gotta go. Good. <laughs> hey, by the way. No, I don't think I can say that. Never mind. Have a good day. <laughs> Just run away. Thanks. There was an insult coming, but I don't know if it was like safe for the network that we're on, so I didn't say it. <laughs> All right. I don't want to get everybody in trouble. So back at your place, um eventually the next night, you do get a um, visitation, if you will, as a spirit sort of manifests. Uh, oh, God. It's a humanoid sort of um, kind of like just overly muscled. Um, you are Nico. Nico, I am. Come with me, please. Okay. And with that, he leads you on a journey. Talk about what this journey is later, but leads you on a journey. Okay. That's all I can it's, say. It's a thing. So um, we'll we will we will come back to that at another time. And we'll come back to everything else at another time as well, uh, as we're going to take 10 minutes. We'll come back. We'll see if Goober can fix the rest of Darcy and uh, boys he may have for them. Uh, and then there will be a phone or a calm call. Doo -doo -doo. 10 minutes. We'll be back. See ya. And we are back. Gertrude is picking up Etienne from the Maker's Mart, uh, Maker Collective, Maker, Maker's Collective. And the, have you, uh, you haven't called Goober yet. You just, you weren't sure how long it was going to take to get there if you were going to have to wait on Etienne. So. Yeah, I figure once the, uh, uh, I'll do like a, a text to speech, like while I'm driving. And um, so it will say something like on my say instead of on my way because I've got music in the background or something like that. So there's also lyrics that come after my message. Uh, and then I'll meet Etienne out front. Okay. Um, yeah, so you get a message back. Um, it's, it just says, sure thing, I'm here. Uh, and you're basically headed to the docks kind of north of the Navy Pier. And a little bit north of the waterworks, um, the water utility. Sorry, I'm trying to grab a thing. There it is. So Etienne, I got this guy this person, Goober's number, um, and I haven't had a chance to give them a call yet to ask about what I'm looking for. So I figure we can do that while we're on the way over there. Uh, why? Why? Um, I I was just at um, the at the Hardwire, and he uh, he asked him for me, and apparently he has what I need, but. If you want, we can call him while we're driving there, yeah? Yeah, just to let him... Does he know that you're coming? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Okay. I don't like to surprise people. Yeah, no. It's just, no, it's not... Yeah. You should know. I mean... 
uh, Ardwire told him that I was going to go there and that I wanted a proletarian, so. That's so, yeah. probably a strong assumption, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, something that Etienne would do. Um, so it's like, but if you, uh, you want to... I mean, I, I don't have his number. Uh, it was all through Hardwire, but if you want to call him, uh, or if you want me to call him while you're driving... Uh, yeah, sure. That works. <clears throat> okay, uh, if you can sling me his cum code, I'll, uh, hmm, I'll do it. I hope he won't be too surprised by that. I don't think he's seen my face. He just knows that someone's coming. Yeah, so I'll I'll send the, the contact over that I got from Hardwire. All right, so um, you have the contact information? You giving him a, a buzz? Yeah. Uh, hey, uh, who's this? Don't recognize this call. Uh, yeah, uh, name is Etienne. I'm calling on behalf of, uh, Gertrude. Um, okay. I uh, was, uh, we, we, we're on our way to meet you for our van, uh, for our trucks. Um, you said it was repair, right? And, and mods too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. gave me the number. Uh, I've got yeah, my, uh, my warrior. Yeah, yeah, I've got my bait and tackle shop up here. Just come on by, and uh, we'll hook you up with everything you need. Bait and tackle. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like to go fishing, you know. Okay, it's I it's gonna. Yeah, I got boats. Okay, okay, it's it is gonna do a judge intention, trying to understand what's going on here. <clears throat> um. um I mean, he sounds like... Wait, that's not... Uh, oh, you edited it. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I did good. I did good. My Maybe sister. too good. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's more like it. Um, it sounds like a guy with bait and tackle shop. Uh, okay, and... Hardwire did call you about someone coming to pick up a proletarian, right? That young whippersnapper from the uh, Maker, uh, Maker Collective, yeah, he called. I got a, yeah, I got what you need. The Evo proletariat, or I got the SK Model 2. Um, it's got the little arm on it and everything. Okay, well, uh, we're on our way. Great, I'll see you when you get here. Yeah. And he hangs up, and he's like, "Did Ardwire send us to a bait shop?" And he replays the conversation like on his speaker on this deck, and he's like, "This is what?" Uh, hardware said that he could get things that hardware couldn't get. So yeah, and even said he has a proletarian. But a bait shop? I don't... Maybe things fall off boats and he's there to catch them? I, I guess. This is weird, huh, kiss. Okay, um, let's go. I'm curious to see. Like, you think that was code or something? He's trying not to be like... I mean, maybe it's both. Like, maybe he likes fishing and also likes... Hard to find things. Well, I guess. This, uh... I don't know. I've never driven a boat. That's exciting. Yeah, no, me, me, me neither. Water is dangerous where I'm from. Well, well I, I guess always, we'll see. It's always fun when your players do a little foreshadowing <laughs> for, for, for themselves. Um, yeah. It takes about hmm, half an hour or more. Um, you're actually kind of in the in the Lincoln district of of Chicago, uh, where a lot of the museums and conservatories are, uh, and there's a few very nice boat harbors that are protected from the lake by some some of uh, I want to say they're man-made actually, but uh, where Highway 41 
kind of runs along the coast of the lake. We're to say coast of a lake, but it's a big enough lake that it's a coast. And uh, yeah, you turn in. It's um, not actually in the containment zone. It is just north of the containment zone. Like, I want to say, I don't think it's in the, is it? No, it is not. No, it is. Sorry. I was looking at a different line. Uh, so it is in the containment zone, uh, just just under the north um, border boundary line. Uh, you get to a it's there's a park. Uh, you kind of turn down a road, Cannon Drive, and you eventually get to um, a parking lot, which shows it's, it's like right on the water. You can see several boats. Uh, kind of moored along uh, several ratty, broken piers. Most of the boats are not boats that you think you would trust. Um, some of them, a, uh, but just down the down the the boardwalk there is a shop. Uh, it's a building. It's a building. Definitely a building. I mean, I, I guess that's it, right? That's what. That's. I what... mean, that's what the the map says. Yeah. Okay, let's. Uh... And I'm, I'm gonna bring the gun just to be safe. It seems like a good uh... move. Yeah. I... <laughs> Showing up with the blade. It's probably not a bad move. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let me get this uh, image in here for you guys. I probably could have done this ahead of time. Horrible game master. Uh, but as you're kind of walking up the, to the building, you can hear the sound of some sort of large machinery, uh, shop machinery perhaps. Um, but the sign on the door definitely says bait and tackle. Definitely that's what it says. It doesn't say garage or boat garage. It says Goober's B&T, bait and tackle. B&T stands for bait and tackle. 100%. It says B&T? Yeah. Okay. He said it was a bait and tackle shop, so yeah, no, we're at the right place. I'm just not exactly sure that, like what Well yeah. we're either gonna get vehicle repairs and a drone or some creepy worms. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I could get a a nice cap. <laughs> All right, that's, uh... APSDS or whatever it's called. But APDS, like the animal? <laughs> yeah. Fuck the worms. <laughs> it's a different kind of fishing. Fishing that with is... dynamites and shit. <laughs> that is a true statement. It is a different type of fishing. Um... We'll make sure to, to lock Darcy up before we head inside. Sure. Um, yeah, so you walk up, and as you look, you can see that one side of, the, of this building, um, there's a door. You can look inside. There's lots of various racks and stands. Um, and it might be a bait and tackle shop. Um, but the other half of the building is definitely a garage. And that's reassuring. Just start looking for Guber. All right. Um, let's give this to you guys. Um, and like this pretty place. 
That ought to do it. All right, so there you go. Um, there's a, uh, like I said, it's the, the red circle there is, is right, right on the water. Um, in fact, back when this wasn't containment zone, you probably weren't supposed to drive up to this building at all. <laughs> But obviously people have, there's a car on one side of the building, uh, there's a vehicle in the garage uh, up on a hydraulic lift. Um, and as you're looking for Goober, you do hear somebody just kind of, That kind of sounds like the voice of the phone. That's, uh... I'm just on the hang It's a good thing. How long is Daddy going to go if we just don't say anything? Okay. the voice singing. What was that? And we follow the where the sound from where. Yeah, it so like, you uh, enter into the you, so you come around the garage and he's over by um by a rack of tools and it looks like he's just kind of going through the various items he has there, uh, looking probably looking for something specific, um, and just you know singing to himself. Do you, do you tap him? Does he have his earphones in? What? There are no earphones, as you, <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> um, he does have a cybernetic left arm, uh, that you can tell. Um, and he's got a tool belt, his cap. Uh, you know, you don't necessarily see his face just yet, but when you do, he has ocular enhancements on his eyes so not quite the same as cyber eyes but they provide the same functionality as cyber eyes uh and then some so yeah oh hey mr goober Very hard to... hey oh whoa oh, wow oh, don't steal up on a guy like that ah uh, what can i do for you uh i we call few minutes ago regarding uh, repairs for a van and potentially upgrades in the drone. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you wouldn't happen to have ball peam hammer, would you? Do I have uh, any turns to Gertrude? Like, uh, pardon? Uh, I'm sorry, what? Hey, never mind. Uh, why would you carry one of them on you? I, I was just looking forward to trying to find it in the back here. But um, let's uh, let's get you guys uh, squared away. Um, so first of all, you, you're looking for the Evo Proletariat, right? Uh, come on over here. All right. Um, he takes you kind of around the side. There's, uh, there's several drones, just some hanging off of hooks on the ceiling. There's several on the ground. Um, so let's, uh, there it is. Um, and then you see this Evo proletariat kind of wheel out. It's on four little wheels. This is not a tracked version. Um, and it's got just this little mechanical arm with a few appendages on it so that it can grip, grasp, and do little fine tune work. And there it is. Okay, yeah, that this was pretty much a, uh, what I was looking for. Is there any, like, no difference between the Evo version and the the other one for the, from Seder Crop? What's, what's the, in your wow. expert opinion, I mean, the version I used to work back with back at home was, like, think it's out of uh, manufacturing. It was the, the CatCo version, but they don't do those anymore. Mm, if you use the CatCo version, then you're probably going to want to just get the Evo because it's uh, pretty much equal on point. Uh, same operating system and um, and uh, user interface. So um, it should be a little bit easier for you to get used to it, I think. Um, 
Oh, okay, okay. Functionality is about the same anyway. Um, you know, depends on what you're looking for. I think the uh, SK has got a little bit further of a reach to get into the back places, but not as much um, fine manipulation on the hand. So, yeah, no, okay. The the Evo should do, should should do the trick. Right, yeah. right, right, right. So the Evo. Um, let's see here. I got this one. What do I do? think uh, i'm willing to part with it for since i still got the sk I've got four four and a half four and a half four and a half what do you think about that well, that's not that's not bad uh, those those, those I, I got before when i was up there uh, were subsidized by the government so it was much cheaper um, but that's not bad. Yeah, we don't have a government down here to subsidize stuff, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take it. All right, excellent. Um, does, does it come with the tools, like the little side box with the tools? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course, of course. Oh, um, all right. Yeah, I'll get. I'll, it's it's got the little little toolbox there. Um, this is a uh, for industrial. Uh, use right so um it's gonna have the industrial set i mean it'll still work for like you know your standard vehicles and 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 uh stuff but it's it's really good mostly best for um you know working around in uh in uh, you know sort of uh buildings and and other uh infrastructure type items but yeah that's what i usually do on my yeah see it's perfect for you. perfect for you money well spent it is, money well spent. It is. but if you if if i were to want to use it to help to fix a car what did any add-ons or supplement i i would need like a program I, or a... if uh no 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 it, it's, it's it's all set up for that just the tools i mean and it's uh i mean if you've got an automotive tool toolkit you've got a toolkit i mean you know that's all, all it, it just comes with a toolkit and this one came with an industrial toolkit that's all it's, yeah it's all right all right looks back to gertrude we we got that stuff right we don't need yeah. that all right, all right. All right, all right. So um, here, uh, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Would you, what's your uh, com? You got your, your device there? Is that, because uh... I got to I gotta shoot the ownership over. Oh, yeah. Uh, and he's like, uh... he looks around, and he's like, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> he takes out his deck, and he's like, it's, it's an older model, but it still works pretty well. Okay, okay. Well, if you're ever looking to upgrade, I could probably help you out there, too. But um, here we go. I, so, I don't have that kind of money, sir, but I appreciate the offer. I'll keep that in mind. I mean, upgrades are not just like a whole new deck. There's things we can do these days. You got all kinds of things, little toolkit parts and stuff. You can you can add a little bit of uh, functionality and what have you. But for now, let's just get this ownership tapped over to you, and uh, we'll get you going. There you go. All right, she's all yours. All right. Hey there, little buddy. And he taps it on the head. <laughs> Ah, that's a guy from my own heart right there. Now, what about you, little lady? What can I do for you? <laughs> Gertrude definitely laughs at being called little lady. By his uh, dwarf. <laughs> by his dwarf, yeah. <laughs> and she says, well, Hardwire uh, told me that you might be able to help me with some specialized armor for my van. Ooh, what kind of van you got? Uh, I got a GMC Endurance. She's a little banged up, needs a little TLC. Uh, I've okay, done all okay. I can for her, but I'd like to get some uh, some concealed armor. I don't want to scare the kids when I'm driving the van around, but, you know. Yeah, well, um, see... A lot of a lot of folks like working on them newfangled all the like the next level stuff because it got all the whiz bang gear and everything. But I tell you, a GMC endurance, something that's just like, you know, a workhorse, a salt of the earth kind of vehicle. I really enjoy that because there's a lot you could do with it. A lot you could do with it. Just a lot of space. Um, I, I definitely would like to see this. Um, see this endurance you got. Uh, is would you, you got to park down and he yeah, she's out of the garage. Out okay um well let's go take a look then he loops over to uh to darcy um looks like a little bit of corrosion here um that's 
a lot more common in the zone than folks would think, huh? Um, that and, was the uh, part I couldn't buff out. Yeah, well, we'll take care of that for you here. That's easy enough. Um, and uh, you don't have a lot. Interesting. This is... There's a lot of space here to work. Uh, mm -hmm. This is mostly a blank canvas. I could... Um, yeah, I... Concealed armor, that's what you're looking for to start. Um, just so this this kind of mess doesn't happen again. Uh, okay, let's um let's give you a little bit of an estimate here. How much is that gonna run? Um, I gotta do some tabulations. Um luckily I can just do them right in my head here. I gotta, you know, installed. I uh, got lots of things installed, you know, it's really useful stuff. Um let's see. DMC Endurance needs armor. Uh, heat. Hmm. No. Run it down a little bit of price. Let's see here, armor. Carry the five. Okay, let's see. So we can plate it up. It's going to run you about. Three thousand million per level or weight class of armor that we're going to be putting on. So I can start uh, starts at three thousand is a little bit, you know, but um, kind of covering the front and the back and um, the main panels on the side, and then it just kind of goes up from there. And um, I mean, it's a this is a this is a beefy boy. Um, so. You put a lot on there. So, how much you want to spend? I was looking to start. Is, this is something that we could upgrade again later. Yeah, certainly because it's it's, panel. it's about panels. You know, so we just we want to place the panels where they'll they'll do the most. But then eventually, you want to shore up your weaknesses. So I was looking just to start uh, about halfway. Halfway what handle, and just use oh. that as a starting point. Let's see that. I can do so. Halfway will cover most of the main panels. Uh, we will get you about uh, looking like I got about twenty-one grand for the for the armor. Believe okay, that, that was that was a little more than I was expecting, but. Um, let me double check and see how much of this you can put on. I'm it's pretty eight. sure you can put on a lot. Okay. Yeah, I think the max is six. Oh, yeah, I was reading that wrong. I was looking at the thing. So it's actually 6,000 is for half of what the max is. Okay. So we, we'll, we'll, we'll walk that back. Um, yeah, so 6,000, put that on there. Um, I mean, we could get fully up armored for 12 and, uh, but six, if you want to get just the most important parts covered now. You know, actually, since we're here, let's go ahead and just do the, the whole 12. Sure thing. Full 12 it is. Um, with that, then... I could have that ready for you in about five days. You need a loaner? I would need a loaner, yes. She's sort of my my baby girl. Oh, oh she. Pardon me, pardon me before. Uh, okay, so, um, yes, all right, well, 
well, let's look at the lady's good hands and uh, we'll get you something to drive around. Um, you know, it's not the it's not the nicest, but it'll get you from point A to, to point B and, and, and back again in one piece. So long as you don't run into any uh, any gangers or humanists or bugs or ghouls or, uh, yeah. you know, just try to keep it low key. Um, and uh, we'll go ahead and. Go ahead and take care of the the damage for you. I need to work with some of them panels anyway to get the armor on. So we won't even worry about that. How's that sound? Yeah. That sounds great. All right, great. Um, you got a what? What is this on top of the back here? I this is it. our very lovingly bare bones, I guess, uh, drone rack up there. Oh yeah, we put we, we put that together. <laughs> I forgot about that until like five minutes. Rush ago. for the last mission. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. Well, that's uh, that's yeah. actually pretty ingenious. A yeah. uh, little bit of, uh, I mean, that's that's like a, that's like a sort of a homemade contraption. Wow, that's. I wouldn't know what to. I mean, it'd be custom job to do anything with it. But uh, if yeah. you want me to eventually, one day, I mean, not, I would get the armor for now. Um, you know, or I, whoever, that could probably, anyway. Um, you know, that's so... Crater is Andy work, so probably best leave it oh, to him, because right, only him. Down, uh, down at the um, Maker, Maker Collective, you know, he used to be a rocket scientist. Um, that's what he says. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. it's a true story. Um. He, yeah, there was an extraction. Uh, went kind of south. Too bad for him. But uh, that what he's still, he's still kind of got it. Yeah. 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 In his own way, uh, but... He um. Uh, it, it's a focus thing now. I think that's uh keeps him from from being able to operate at the the top echelons like he used to. But uh, he's still good for the collective. Um, and he's doing. In my opinion, much better things. So uh, let's get you the keys to the beater over here. Here you go. Um, you now have a Ford Americar. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> um, it's like a 10 year old Ford Americar. <laughs> um, but it's not rusting out anywhere, and it's got four wheels. And yeah, with that, he um, gets Darcy pulled up to the garage and lets you know that he'll have her ready in five days' time and he'll give you a call. Okay, that sounds awesome. I appreciate it. All right. Time passes. You pick up Darcy. Training happens. Yeah, he tends to spend a little bit of time driving his little drone around, so he gets better at... Drone driving? Yes. Yeah. Come on, Bruno. Do the thing. Um, <laughs> Nico initiates into the deeper mysteries. Um, all is quiet in Chicago. It's the end of the spring. It's, it's just about getting into summertime. And real quick before we go any further, um, quick check in on everybody. Um, this next scenario, um, we probably won't get to that part today, but we might, uh, does deal a little bit in domestic violence. So I want to check in with all the players. Make sure that they are okay to continue. Yep. And also, trigger warning to our audience that um, this does have some uh, domestic violence in this particular module that we're moving into. And when we get to that scene, I will remind everyone again so that if anyone needs to tune out for that part, um, they'll have ample warning. With that, It's 
warm. The wind blows in off the lake, so it's not muggy. It's the temperature wise, it's pleasant, but the lake doesn't smell its best these days. So there's a little bit of that that you're contending with. Um, Gertrude, you get a call on your comm link. Okay. The I will answer. The call is from... Let me double check. Close all your things. Why do I do that? Okay. There we go. Yes, um, it's a call, and the caller ID is whatever you put in for Sid Gambetti. It was probably Sid Gambetti. <laughs> it's probably just, it might be in parentheses, a uh, loud guy or fast talk guy, something along right. those lines. So you pick up? I do. Hey! Oh, wow! Um, hello, guys. I'm so glad you answered. Someone finally answered. Um, I mean, yes. Uh, hi. Of course, you answered. Um, I got. Uh, I'm. I got work for you. Uh, uh, what? Um, yeah. I tried to call um some of the other folks, but they weren't picking up. Um, so I'm pr probably really busy. Um, I get it, you Shadowrunner folks. Um out there just uh being damn heroes and stuff look i got um i got something i need you to take care of um if you could um maybe gather up folks and uh you, you guys can come on down here to uh, uh the vault and uh meet up with me i'd really appreciate it and uh got a lot of cred for you guys you guys and uh you you know it'll be good it'll be good for you it'll be good for me it'll be good for everybody okay are are we fighting anybody this time well, uh, i mean like last time there was this little kerfuffle and your guy wanted to punch us my guy oh um the angry the angry guy you know he's, uh, he's I, just, I mean there's you know there's a lot of um a lot of uh machismo you know going on around here sometimes just uh, things happen but uh that i mean that was my guy it was, was it my guy i feel like it was your guy maybe he wanted to be your guy i'm not sure i'm not clear on the details someone wanted to punch us and maybe fight in a ring Oh, yeah, I'm, I, I mean, if he's my guy now, he wasn't my guy at the time. That seems fine then. All right, great. So just, uh, <laughs> you know, rally up, um, rally up whoever you got and bring them on over to, uh, the vault and find me in my office. Okay. I'll, I'll gather the crew. Very well. Uh, with and that, I, he's hangs up. Uh, and I will send out a group chat uh, that says, um, Sid has a job for us. Uh, Y'all available for me to come pick you up to head over and talk to him? Do we have to do with Matt Rath again? I tried to ask you that. <laughs> Matt I mean, Rat, the guy that was in the ring, that the asshole was someone else, I believe. I couldn't remember what his name was, so I didn't want to blame someone unnecessarily. I, I I wasn't on the scene. I just saw uh, I, I I just saw the footage from uh, some someone's. So so who okay. was it that body slammed Kaida? It was some other dude. He talked about like an orc, and Matt Rath is an elf. Wait, somebody body body slam Kaida? He didn't tell oh, me dude, about that. Yeah. Oh, I, I doubt of he course would. he did. Like he got ragdolled. It was bad. It was like there was this old movie, uh, like The uh, Adventures. And then so you remember that the part where like the Hulk grabs Loki, slams him all over the place? 
Yeah, but didn't Kaida like took control of him after and made him punch his own face to the ground? Oh, that guy. Oh yeah, I know about that guy. Kaida told me. Uh, oh, okay, he story. told you just the later part, not the first. No, he told he told me the whole story. I just had to put it in context. He he, he said something about making your enemies suffer and <laughs> never accepting mercy. And um, <laughs> mercy is a word that we can't put in our vocabulary. He told me some things like that. Um, I, I mean, I'm going to have to be honest. After that time, took me a few weeks to get used to Kaida being around, knowing he could do that kind of shit. That's scary as fuck. Well, what makes you think that I can't do those kind of things? I, uh, <laughs> I, can, can you? I mean, I, I haven't seen you do that yet. Listen, it's um, all about this. This is the this is a relationship on mutual trust. I can do things. You can do things. I mean, who knows? You could you could hack my life. He could cut my head off while my face is turned. It's a trust thing. I learned that in my adulting class. Adulting one on one. That's what it was called. Yeah. Uh well, can you, you know, send me your you, notes? I think I need I need a couple of courses. Do, do you guys need me for the me? I, I kind of had a thing tonight that I uh, I don't know. I could forget about that. The Montreal Assassins are brawling against. Uh, let me check. I don't remember who, but you know I got you go to assassin brawls. No, it's not. It's it's a it, uh, it's, it's a urban brawl game. They they're playing the New Orleans Tombstones. That's just, that's just how they call. I, I mean, assassins don't brawl. I, I mean, they, they live such an interesting it's, life. Assassins it's, brawl, tombstones. That's urban sport. brawl. Urban brawl. I, I know. I know. I know brawl is. <laughs> it's the sport that he's all crazy about. I know. I know. <laughs> no, he's crazy about a few sports. Well, it's but... a sport that every, it, it's basically football in the future has been replaced. In terms of excitement and what everybody always wants to watch, um, football has been replaced by urban ball. So, but I mean, we can go to the to the meet if it's early enough. I'm I'll, I'll just uh, may I have to duck in early to like you know set up the game for everyone else. So, question, Etienne, is it is it that sports are more important than money? I mean, it depends on the game and it depends on the money. I'm going to be frank with you. That's an interesting tonight's, response. Th- and I'll this is a pretty important game, but I, I, I guess, yeah, I'll come with you and see, see, see how, how, how goes the money. There is a that. popular saying that we, we, we work to live, not live to work. That's, that's well said, Satchel. But this, the phrase doesn't say we live to watch Urban Brawl or work to watch Urban Brawl. Hey, what? watching Urban Brawl is living. We work. So playing well, okay, okay. Yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll just set the things up, and if we're not back in time, at least they know. I'll, 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 I'll let, I'll let them know that, uh, that that's that I may be a little bit late. Okay, Kaizi can unlock the garage for the others. Uh, I'll just make sure that I have enough soy beers and soy chips for everyone. This is true, Etienne. I learned in my adulting class that if an adult can't turn on a television. And watch a game on their own. They're not ready for adulting. Where do you take these class? I'm just curious. <laughs> <laughs> these classes are offered um, on the corner. You to me. You to me. <laughs> one of the uh, one one of my gang liaison liaisons is hooked me up with the adulting class. They told me that it would help me better to be the liaison that I need to be. We heard you I, like liaisons. You put liaisons on your liaison, so you can liaison while you liaison. It's a network of liaisoning. Yes. <laughs> while we're having this discussion, I'm driving to folks' various locations to pick them up. Okay. So we can continue this very important discussion. Uh, Listen, yeah. So Etienne, um, you set everything up and. Uh, you're gonna give uh, head over and find Kaizen, give her the key. Yeah, yeah. And he's loading the fridge with like much more beer than the last time because it wasn't enough. And Urban Brawl gets more people around than hockey because yeah. they don't know any better. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, you know, it's not the exterminators, but everyone does understand Urban Brawl, so um, the they they all agree that it's probably a a, a more fun time to hang out. Uh, so you do get more than just the like five people. Um, so definitely party at Etienne's tonight. Hey, hey. except hey. for you. Hey. Yeah, except for us that are going to be out. <laughs> right. Um, I do that. I do that, though. That's a test. So, yeah, you head over to uh, to the Angels, and uh, Kaizy looks up. Hey, game's on in like an hour, so... Um, yeah, right? uh, it, it is, but uh, I need to head out for a, a, a work meeting. Oh, uh, and yeah, so... that kind of sucks. So I'm not gonna be around, but I, I trust you enough that you can you can watch the game at my place. I mean, I fix your trades, but it's kind of still banged up. I got a brand new one in my place. So I, yeah, um, that'll be. I mean, you know, uh, I got... your place is our place, so we were not gonna <laughs> mess it up. Um, yeah, exactly. So yeah, and uh, and we'll make sure that no one else that that isn't that, that's invited does anything stupid. Um, right. Hopefully, you... yeah. Go ahead. Uh, hopefully, it's just a, the meet, and maybe you know you you just figure out what the job is, and then afterwards you can uh, come back and maybe you know you're not actually having to do any of the actual yeah. stuff till you know tomorrow or something. Yeah, I, I, I hope so too. Uh, in the meantime, yeah, here's the keys. Uh, there's a drone in the garage just hanging out. You can ask him for snuff. His name is Bruno. I haven't had the chance to install the French language stuff on it, so you're going to be able to talk to him. So, uh, yeah, you can ask him to bring beers and stuff. Uh, just, like, don't... Yeah, don't fuck him up. All right, consider Bruno not fucked up. <laughs> All right. Well, so cool. uh, I uh, I hope that uh, we can get back in time. If so, I'm gonna have like Gertrude and Satchel and Nico with me, so we're gonna join. Oh, them. that'd be great. Yeah, yeah, I like those guys and and Gertrude as well. Um, not a guy. They're, they're good people. Yeah. yeah. No. Um. Cool. So yeah, hopefully you're back in time, and um. I hope so. All right. Um. Well, we'll see. See you later then. Yeah, see you later. And then you leave for Gertrude to pick you up. And I do. As you head to the vault, anything anyone wants to say before we get there? So, uh, how have you guys been? <laughs> oh, dude, I've been watching Musashi Tron's Madness. And, uh, dude, I, I think, dude, he's been, dude, oh, I, got, I got to show you this trend. And then, like, uh, I kind of, like, send him a copy of it. But, like, dude, it's awesome. It's a part where he finds, like, all these, like, radioactive, like, bug samurai. It's crazy. That, that sounds pretty crazy, indeed. Then you, Nico... You sitting in the new place properly? Um, yes. I've learned to answer questions with yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's, well, that's fair. Um, It's, uh, and, well, Gertrude, we, we saw each other not too long ago, so you, uh, uh you, is, uh, is the truck still at the guys, or are you picking us up in Darcy? Uh, I assumed it was in Darcy that enough time had passed that the repairs were done. Is that right, Danny? Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right. Oh, did you take up? Oh, are we so we're in Darcy oh, now, right? Yeah, if, if it's Darcy, he's gonna bring the drone then. So Bruno is with him and not, not still in the garage. 
Oh. No, no drink serving drone. It was just like... No drink service drone? Damn, they're yeah. going to be so disappointed. They're going to teach it new tricks. Um... So uh, after knowing that Darcy has been you know, in the shop, he goes and checks under all the seats and makes sure that the, 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 the Super Warhawks are all still down there. Um, I mean, unless uh, unless Gertrude moved him. I would have moved him before I took her over for repairs and then put him back. Oh, okay. So, so they look like they've been moved, but they are still there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> are these gun active on the Matrix? You tell me. No, no. Okay. Just want to make sure <laughs> that they weren't like, and we they didn't have. To. They aren't, but it's because they have been turned off. You could okay. turn them on. Yeah, no, that's let's not do that. Uh, <laughs> you know, someone can notice it and notice that they don't belong to us. Anyway, uh, we can work on that later. I forgot about these guns that you have hidden all over the car. <laughs> very important. Should, should I not have? No, no, it's a very good idea that you did that. It's just, you know, with everything being connected to the Matrix, sometimes you have to make sure that it doesn't come and Bite you in the ass. So unless you like, like unless you like being bitten in the ass. I mean yeah, that's your thing. Folks. That's that's more of a matter of I'm just saying let's not let's not ass bite Shane because we're <laughs> past that. We're in a we're an area of progression. It's 2070. Oh, you're right. I've never understood that that expression. Uh, we don't say it like that where I'm from, so I don't. You know, maybe maybe ass buyers are marginalized, and we don't want to further oppress them. So let's not do that. Oh my! I always God. assumed it was like a snake, and it was full of poison, and that's why you didn't want it. Uh, I mean, oh. but if a snake is close enough to your ass to bite it, I I feel you deserve to be bitten. <laughs> they usually are like ankle biters or toe biters, calf biters. Unless it's like a. <laughs> All right. Uh, moving on from that, uh, so do we have any information about the job? Uh, maybe that we were the last on his list to call. That's about what I've got right now. That was the impression I got. And he said he tried to call some other people and nobody was answering. So I don't know what he did to have people not answer calls from him, but. I mean, was he talking about all the runners, or just that he called like uh, Kaida and Flea before? He wasn't specific. That that would make sense if he tried Kaida and Flea first. Um, yeah, might, might have they're better. better at talking. Mm -hmm. But here we are. So I figure, worst case scenario, we just wasted some gas to get out here. I would have called you first if that makes you feel any better. <laughs> Well, thank you. You're welcome. all right. Arriving at the vault, um, you pull in and park. It's um, it's a quieter evening at the vault. There, they just you know, there's an urban brawl game on. They don't tend to uh, schedule during the urban brawl season on brawl nights. Um, so heading over to the vault, it's it's minimal lighting there's there's some people in there there's a few you know like people that are training or whatnot they'll they'll spar uh in the actual arena um you see the you see sid's office kind of off to the side the door is closed um you see a light from inside is on uh but you don't uh, you don't see anyone else kind of hanging around Uh, do, do, do you want to knock or should I? I I can knock. That's fine. <laughs> I'm good at knocking. I know. All right. Uh, so knocking on the door. Um. Uh. Hold hold on a second. Here, shuffling, and then the door opens, and it's on a chain. Oh, 
opens it. Hey, you guys, come on in. Come on in. I, I have a, uh, uh, he dusts off some, uh, some papers off of a, a, a box and uh, sit, sit and a uh, chair there. And uh, uh, the office is what you'd expect. There's um, documents all over, not documents, but like flyers, like actual physical flyers kind of all over the place. There's a box full of a whole bunch of little uh, RFID tags that you imagine are also some sort of uh, advertising materials. Um, his desk itself has, uh, you see an AR sort of uh, AR panel. Um, for those of you that are image linked, you can see the AR panel, uh, the device, and then there's a sort of a cardboard cover over the desk, but there's, you see grease spots all over it. Uh, obviously it takes a lot of, um, fast food meals here. Um, and give us anyone who wants to a judge intentions check. Everyone, if you'd like, if you're paying attention, or you know, making this roll with judging intentions. Out of fires, clicking some bed. Ooh. I don't see it. I don't see judge it's, intentions. Um, right Ooh. next to your stat in attributes, just to the right of it, you're going to have like just a little bit under your initiative. You have composure, judge intention, memory. Yeah, gotcha. I was looking under skills. Oh, oh shit. All right, I so edge, but you know, oh, yeah, wow. yeah. turn I off can... your edge, turn off your edge button. Um, me? Gonna... Yeah, oh, it's still on from last week. I'm sorry. Can I keep that roll though? But if you <laughs> want to spend the edge, I do not want it that. You're still good. You still have okay. Well, you you still had five. Yeah. So, um, he sits down and oh, oh. I'm glad you're all here. Um. I'm not sure what I would have done if you didn't pick up. Um, uh, um, okay. All right. All right. I have some folks. Uh, they're trying to lean on me pretty hard. Uh, they say they got some data on me. Uh, regarding a, a, a fight uh, I did a couple months ago, uh, they said they're going to release the data unless I, I pay up. And uh, the thing is, the, these guys are, uh, these guys, they, they, they're putting, they're putting pressure on me. They're, they're real, real like thugs, you know, real crow magnet uh, types. Uh, if you get, you get my meaning up. But uh, uh, what I'm, I mean, what I'm trying to say is that they, uh, they they wouldn't be smart enough to to put something like this together on me. I, I mean, they probably don't even care about the 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 data. Of, um, just trying to make a, a buck. Um, maybe they don't even have anything. They're just trying to scare me. But but what I I need you to do is go out there and find out who hired them, and then. Find that person and get the data from him if there is data, whatever the data is. Um, rough him up a little if you want, because you know that's how you you guys do. Uh, and then um, you know, just make sure he doesn't ever want to screw with me again. Ever, ever. You don't. Nobody messes with Sid. Okay. Um, I can pay. I can pay. I can pay you each <laughs> ten large. I know it's short notice. I was hoping for a little help from my friends. Okay, and definitely your friend for ten large. Ten large being ten thousand and big ones. Yeah, yeah, each, uh, each. 
what you said something about like um they have data on the fight you did what does that mean i, I promoted a fight i promoted you know i promote fight. i'm a fight promoter yeah, 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 that's what I do. That's yeah, my day. Right, and then on the side, I'm doing that, one thing with you guys, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I was at a problem that they have data on the fight you promoted. I don't, I don't, I don't know. They're probably trying to set me up for some sort of um something shenanigans. Here's my question. You said that these the the dudes that collected the data aren't. You said they were Neanderthals. Which is a bit. I'm insane. saying, I'm saying, but 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 you said they're not smart enough to. Um, yeah, I'm saying the guys that are like the ones that called and said, "Hey, you're gonna give us money, or we're gonna tell everybody this thing, this doctor stuff they got on me." Um, that. Uh, oh, okay. So now it's a doctor. I it got, it's got to be. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay. So that, that saying. that's my question, sir. Is that you There's, think yeah, that I, somebody else is behind this? What if we find out that that's not the case? Are you going to try to not pay us? Well, if it's not somebody else behind this, then they're the ones behind it, and then you they then get then 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 that's all I wanted to make know. sure they yeah did you do do your thing with them uh, punch them and shoot them. And, Punch them and shoot them. Got and, you. Uh, magic and magic. I, I, I mean, if if um if that's how how you do. Is anybody good at punching people? For ten thousand dollars, I will punch someone and shoot okay, them with okay. magic. So what <laughs> what can you? Before we give you a definitive yes or no, what can you give us on these guys? What are we up against? All right. I don't got a lot of information, but what I got is is this. So they wanted me to drop off the cred at a bar called The Hole. It's up in the north side. The ganger who made the threat, a guy called, he called himself The Ogre. Trying to be scary, right? But you just know, guy calls himself ogre, mm, not very smart guy. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's what I mean. He's not smart enough to, you know, these. This is not the kind of guys that get the drop on Sig and Betty. Someone else is behind this. I'm telling you. Someone else behind this. Okay. I just know yeah. it's a conspiracy. It's a, it's a conspiracy. Uh, people are they're jealous of my success. Doing, I'm doing amazing things. Look, I got fights. I got Matt Rath. He's doing his thing. I, Got got a got I got a I, I got my finger on the pulse of the shadow run business going on. Project take back. So I'm gonna message everybody. I'm gonna message everybody that I would really like to take this job because I like the prospect of shooting and punching people with magic for money. It's in is gonna be like He's gonna answer your message like without even touching his phone or his deck. It's just you get an answer like yeah, not bad. What do you know about this gang that he mentioned? Well, he didn't so actually mention a gang. He just mentioned oh, he, a bar called a bar, the Hole. The Hole, and a, a guy and named himself the Ogre. The Ogre. So, um, so is is this is this Ogre part of a gang, Mister um, Slightly Neurotic? Hey, I think you're onto something, kid. That's that's a good name for a fighter. Yes, Neurotic Ned. <laughs> Do I? As long as you make sure to give me royalties, I just want two percent. Neurosis Ned. <laughs> that's even better. That's that's better. Right. Yeah, that's better. Uh, and also, I made that up. Um, <laughs> all right, so. I mean, I, I, you inspired, you inspired me. I was inspired by you. Uh, inspired by, it, but just give me, credit. just give me a you, little. No, you, you said neurotic, neurotic. I did. That's got a C, and I, I, I liked it. But then I was like, nah. All right, all right. Neurosis. Enough. Oh, you just I admitted didn't... in front of witnesses that I inspired you. you. I'm sorry. Feminine so, are they part of the gang? Okay, Etienne is getting a little bit annoyed by all of that because he knows that there's a game waiting for him back at home. So he's like, <laughs> nah, 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 okay, let's just 
Get back so anyway, to the order. Uh, yeah, okay. The whole right, so the, the ogre, ogre. The whole that's so, that's all I know. I got to, I got to I got to take the the money down there and then um uh you know What's the ogre's name again? That's ogre, his name, ogre. the ogre. The ogre. Um I'm going to I'm going to check my knowledge of Chicago gangs really quick. Um There are probably seven or eight ogres in the greater Chicago sprawl. Oh, I didn't roll Chicago sprawl. I rolled Chicago. Or, well, I'm, no, Chicago gangs, but in the Chicago sprawl, which is where all the Chicago gangs are. Okay. And is, are any of them specifically named the ogre? Um... Do mm, you don't think that anyone's mother named them the ogre? Is this hey, an um, ogre called the ogre? Hey Ned. So this ogre, there's a lot of ogres in the in the sprawl, dude. And you want us? We don't want to beat up the wrong ogre because then I'm just gonna tell him that you sent us, and you have bigger problems on your hands. No, 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 no. I'm I'm Sid. Sid. Ned. Ned's. Never mind. You said neurosis, Ned. Okay. I'm not a Sid. fighter, though. Okay, I'm sorry, Sid. So, right. so Sid, look, look, which look, ogre look. specifically do we need to go find? The one in the hole. Yeah, do I need to do another hard. roll for the ogre in the hole? <laughs> <laughs> look, Pat, that's what I'm doing. I need to do another roll. <laughs> Real quick, it does occur to uh, Gertrude that if it's in the north and it's a guy named Ogre, there's a good chance that the horde knows maybe something about it and not like contact level, but she does have, I mean, that's what she's doing uh, in, in her place uh, is being a clinician for the horde. Um, yeah. So it's, it's, so it's not a contact per se, but you might be able to get some information that way. Um, yeah, I, I don't know anything else. They said you bring the money to the hole, and the guy's name was Ogre. That's what I got. You guys are shadow runners. Like that's what you do. Like I don't come to you and tell you to give me the best fighter to fight in the ring because I—that's me. I do that. I make that happen. You make the find the guys and make them regret fragging with me thing happen that's right. why i'm giving you 10 grand each so sid ned yes what's your timetable on this i it's got to be immediate they i mean like they they're gonna ruin my reputation i, I got a sterling reputation in this town sterling sterling which is so why you it. called us first right well, that um, what's your what the what the makeup? She just didn't answer. I that's that's your friend, right? She was gonna. Yeah, bring yeah all no, she's things. busy. She's, she's busy right now. I was I was trying to tease you about your sterling reputation. I'm sorry. I'm not very good at jokes. Okay, yeah, that's right. fair. Some people. And Jan is gonna look around the rest of the group. Is like, all right, God, are we doing that or are we doing? We're doing this, or what? Um, can we go talk over here for just a second? Yeah, that's uh, it's uh, you can step outside of his office, or you can ask him to step outside of his office. <laughs> that's I don't know. Just go. That's just... yeah, there's some weird smells in here. Let's let's go step outside. <laughs> there are weird smells in there. Yes. <laughs> All right, so you step outside. Uh, again, there's not really anyone around. Yes, thank you. So uh, the hole is uh, on the north side. It's in Horde territory, which is near where I live. So we might be able to, to talk to some folks up there and get some more information about what we might be walking into. 
um Etienne, I know you want to catch the game and I would love to watch it as well. Um I mean, okay. Uh, Nico brought a good point earlier. 10K is 10K. I mean, mm -hmm. good, good, interesting things could uh, could be done with all of that. So, I, I mean, I would do just, it. I just don't. Just record it. You'll see the game later. That's not the point. That's, that's not the point. It's just to experience it without. You know what? Let's, let's not talk oh. about it right now. We're We're working right now. Work. <laughs> I don't think it has. Circuiting back to that, working. Right. Um, but I don't know. He's. I know this guy is always squirmy, but he seems extra today. So I, I think that I don't like um, that. We should consider just learning from our past the lack of information going into this mission and how it could backfire on us because we definitely almost died. That's and Gertrude. True. So I'm just throwing that out there. I don't really know what the solution is, but I'd like to know more information, but I want the money. But usually what how these things go, and once you agree to do the job, they're going to give you more information because they don't want to spill their beans all over the floor. Everybody that goes like, yeah, no, we're not interested, but it's good to know that you're against that that gang or that those people or that you wanted people to do that. So you know, so that's why that's why I'm asking bluntly, do you guys want to do that or not? It smells fishy, but I mean, after last time, everything seems to smell a bit weird. I don't know if it's the chemicals that burned the inside of my nose or let's find which fight it was that they're trying to blackmail him over that might give us a clue. Um, but I mean, 10 K to, <clears throat> to steal some data. We yeah. stolen data for less. But it's also steal data, punch, shoot, magic, intimidate. Yes. Yeah. We need to live which means that, way. which means that we're probably going to need a mask appearance spell consistently just so that way this intimidation doesn't link back to us. I mean, depending already, on the gang. And... Oh, we just I'm just saying that already, that already depletes some of our energy for the mission. Because we'll be maintaining that spell. True, true. And we don't know what kind of firepower these people are going to have. I mean, are we really... You know, I'm just saying, more information is great. I'm down with taking the job because I like to smoke. Satchel, what do you think? Uh, yeah, I'm game. Like, it, it kind of reminds me of an episode of Fat. Of what? Fat. Fat? The Fugitive Apprehension Team. I don't know what that is, but if you're happy with the job, I'm going to vote that as a yes. And... I, as I said, I, I'd rather be watching the game. This is scary. I don't like his attitude right now. Uh, but 10K is 10K, so I'll eat my socks and uh, go along with it. What about you, Gertrude? Yeah. Yeah. I think that um, we can do that, and we'll see what we can do about making it safer for us. Yeah, okay. Get back in there then. <clears throat> all right. As you, as you all agree to turn and go back inside and you open the door, uh, whoever's in front sees Sid kind of sliding back behind his desk, um, still standing, and he kind of looks up. So, um, what do you think? Well, which fight was this? You know, they didn't say, so I gotta imagine it was, um, uh, well, there was a couple, um, with the champ, Matt, and, uh, they, you know, they wanted to, uh, and then there was the, the, the Bryson Garza match, and there was, um, there was the, uh. And you said um, they doctored things in there, so which, 
what are they exactly pressing you about? What's the problem? They they they're claiming that you you threw the game, uh, the match. So uh, and yeah, they said they've got some compromising uh, data on me with um, uh, and that if I don't pay up, that they're gonna put it out and then I'll be done. I'll be done. That's what they said. Anyway, I don't know. Uh, if you want to judge intentions, the guy, you certainly can. But didn't we do uh, that when we walked in? Right quick. Uh, I mean, yes, he was very, very nervous and mm, supremely exactly. squirrely. Uh, you do feel like he knows more than he's letting on, but <clears throat> you don't feel like he's lying. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna use a nerps on that because I have a bunch of those, and that's one of the only roles from this session. So, <laughs> yeah, that didn't help much. <laughs> so, well, same, I wanna, can, I, can, I, can I read his thing? aura? You can. You can definitely read his aura. I mean, you have to roll dice. I did wow, that. you're doing a good job on that lately. <clears throat> nice. Level up. <laughs> That's what those adulting classes. He <laughs> is super nervous. Um, he definitely is scared about whatever's going on. Uh, and he's definitely super nervous. And he really, um, you could tell that he really is wanting you to fix this so that he doesn't have to worry about it. Um, so in that regards, he's very earnest and very genuine. Um, this is a problem for him. He wants it to be solved. Um, he thinks you're going to be able to do it for him. Um, he's also got really high blood pressure and um, <laughs> probably should should stop eating junk food so much because he's going to have a heart attack. <laughs> I just got all the tea, huh? Um, do, can I tell anything about um, how much he knows about the ogre? You can tell that he's he's being careful, so mm -hmm. he's, you feel like he's holding something back. You don't know mm -hmm. what that something is at all, but mm -hmm. um, yeah. All right, look here, Sned. We want to help you because we know you need our help. All right, great. So, so but oh, you got to tell us everything. Other, we've gotten too many of these shadow run messages, missions, and almost lost our legs, life, and limbs. Legs and limb are the same thing, but we're not going to talk about that. So we need you to tell us everything right now so that we're not walking into this situation blind. And don't lie to me, because I'll know I've got magic. It's true. He has magic. I right, look. Sometimes, um, there's a, uh, there's a lot of money that like goes exchanges in hands uh, during the fights, right? Y you know, there's uh, like some some uh, side betting, and um, sometimes because of that, things can yeah. It, it could affect some things, and and sometimes you gotta turn turn a blind eye to that. You know, you know what I mean. But um, it's it's just a thing. It's just, it's a thing. Everyone does it. Yeah, it's everyone does it. So so it's possible that they do actually have something that could not be the best look for me. Okay, uh, that's... About the beddings. About, yeah, about the, the beddings and the going and the peripheral stuff that goes on around all of hey, that. Hey, shoot, shoot, shoot us straight. What do they have? What do you I, think I they have? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying what do that's, you what think they they have. Have. that's what they could have. They, they could have. They could have something, right. information right. about you allowing side Right, bets. right. But that's what they got. I mean, that's it. That's it. It's just small time stuff. This is like a personal thing between me and whoever's trying to shake me down. 
I've just no, I mean, to my knowledge, there's no out other thing. So, and, and they're just punks. They're punks. I mean, who hangs out at the hole? A, a, it's a bar called the hole. It's on the north side. It, it's it's going to be punks. They got a punk named Ogre. What do, go well, in there and, you, you, you know, you've been around here long enough to know that punks that get together can accrue kind of a firepowers and such and such. So I think any of it's around we're 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 good for it. We're, we'll do this for you. Uh you you we you gave us the name of a bar and a guy. We're gonna go and look around, see what we can find. And if we can solve that for you the 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 better. But if we ever like Encounter something that's not that's not shaking down a guy, a few guys for some information and shit. That'll cost you. I think we should do an upfront bonus for um, risk. Okay. Since, you, since there's so okay. much that you okay. don't okay. know. Okay, okay, okay. To cover the part I, about the parts I don't know. Um, this means that, like, you, you do the deal. There's no extra stuff then, right? So there's 10, and then, like, because there's, who knows? It could just be the guys, but maybe, like, I think there's something else to it. I don't think it's that big, but but if it is, I'll, I'm throwing more in the pot now. That's my insurance. Hmm? Eight, 8,000. Eight thousand total, so like another two thousand between each of these. Twelve. Wait, 12 wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, okay. Twelve yeah, each. Two, twelve each. If things go out of bounds. No, no, yeah, yeah. Well, he's he's what he's saying is it's twelve each flat, whether it goes bad right. or not. All right, twelve he's each. He's saying flat. that's his his yeah. insurance, right? I I agree to those terms. I send oh, that to I everybody agree. in the chat. Like, if you look at his aura, it very visibly like there's a relaxing that happens <laughs> that you've accepted the job um so um as we all know about punks we do know that punks jump up to get beat down and we also know that we are at the end of our time today so we are nice. going to come back next week and figure out what exactly is going on with sid Oof, who's gonna win Lord. the urban brawl match is Etienne going to be able to watch any of it? And, um, <laughs> and be watching it in the AR while he's shooting people. And <laughs> how much did Satchel retain from watching his various samurai trids? All that and more next week. Um, in the meantime, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Uh, and anyone who's watching later on, if it's still February, 2021 then you know that the kickstarter is going on that's uh www.remalternus.com slash kick uh for the comic book calls with clockwork circus which i wrote and was illustrated by slobodan jovanovic amazing uh, artist um and it's been doing really well uh it mm -hmm. got chosen by kickstarter as a project we love and um it's got several uh pretty decent reviews um very happy with them and uh yeah that's uh that's going on we've got all of our other streams going on this week um monday night yesterday it was dresden that's every monday night so tune in uh we've got a new dungeons and dragons stream on thursday uh, i believe that's at 8 p.m central um fridays are our kind of community night so everyone kind of gets together we play a game whoever's around uh it's not like just for cast it's for anyone in the community and then Saturday, we have Dungeons and Dragons episodicals. Sunday, we have Like Clockwork. Uh, this Sunday, we're going to have a episode uh, kind of centered around the, the comic uh, from the Kickstarter because those are set in the same world. And so we're going to do something special with that uh, as we're coming up to the end of the Kickstarter. Um, with our cast, we have... Uh, um, Durier has still, every Thursday, Talk It Out. What's going actually on? Have, we actually have um, next Wednesday. It's my birthday, and we're doing a 24 hour live stream, which will be a fundraiser because we are planning to film the very first Wonelli Media project. It's going to be a um, 
a web series. We're going to film the first, hopefully first two episodes, but definitely the first episode of it. It's called Flirting with Destiny. Um, nice. And it'll be, it'll be cool. So that's going to be all day. We have like all kinds of events. We have like a cooking stream. We have a Marvel speculation theory stream. We've got someone doing like video editing one on one. We've got all kinds of stuff all day. So come hang out with us. Awesome. Yeah. And that's a Wednesday. So, you know, uh, a lot of us from REM will be there checking it out and hanging out with you all day. So, um, if uh, you're looking for any fun costume cosplay stuff, you can always look for Jen uh, and uh, the Geek Forge and try to uh, see if you can get in on that schedule because uh, I hear it's um, I hear it gets full sometimes. Uh, and um, yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's what we got. So with that, thank you all for watching. Thank you to the cast. Uh, thank you very much, Tom, for being our tech and behind the scenes making sure everything is running smoothly and he even got the new shadow run missions cover up for five uh, on the ball i uh, appreciate that and we will see everybody next week much love Bye -bye.